I am Cassandra Butts. I am uh, the senior advisor to the chief executive officer at the Millennium Challenge Corporation, a U.S. government foreign assistance agency. In Burkina Faso, where I was, I was just visiting Burkina Faso, we're doing this really interesting program that's very exciting for us. It's actually called the Bright School Program, and it's a program where we are trying to, we are trying to invest in. Uh, uh, school infrastructure in rural areas and, and make the schools friendly, girl friendly. Uh, and so we've built 132 schools in Burkina Faso in rural areas and uh, in addition to being places where we think where we're encouraging or trying to to focus on getting girls to uh, to enroll, we've, we've, we've put in place um, supports that uh, make that enrollment more inviting and, and more accessible for families. We are um, providing food uh, that, 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 that the students can take home, um, and that kind of food subsidy is very important for poor families. Uh, we're actually providing uh, literacy training for, for mothers. And uh, when I was in Burkina, we, we, we went to visit one of the bright schools, and uh, one of the mothers actually read for me, or did, did, did a speech uh, in, in honor of my visit. And I asked her afterwards, uh, it was a very good speech in French, and I asked her afterwards, uh, could, could you, were you, did you have French before uh, your involvement with the Bright School program? And she said, no, she was illiterate. She could not read or write. And it was through this Bright School program, not only, is her, not only are her kids in our Bright Schools, but she's learning to read and write through the literacy component of the Bright Schools program. We were very fortunate last March to actually bring two of the girls from the Bright Schools of, of Burkina to the U.S. Uh, for International Women's Day to do an event with the First Lady of the White House. And one of the girls, actually, Isatu uh, Diallo, uh, actually introduced the First Lady. And so when I went back, I actually went to Isatu's uh, to visit her, in, uh, her, her, visit her and her mother in her village, but also see Isatu, who has graduated from our bride schools to secondary school. She's actually in boarding school and secondary school in, uh, in Dory, where she's from. So um, that's just, I think that's a wonderful example for us for, and it was actually the first time we actually were able to bring beneficiaries to the states, uh, for MCC beneficiaries to the states. So it's a great example for us in, in, in how we do things other than infrastructure and the kind of impact that we can.